beautiful souls, this is Arshna here, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for us to look at the love energy in this upcoming week. So whenever you trance upon it and it resonates for you, then that is when it's meant for you. Now, you can think about a person that you are already connected with or are have had a strong bond with and are in separation and are wishing to know what's going to take place. And for all of you, those who are single, you're done with a relationship and you're wondering what's taking place in your love life, you can apply it as that part resonates for you. This is a general reading, so if you'd like to know something more, which is very specific to you, then I would recommend getting a private reading to delve more into it. But in this one, we're just gonna kind of look at the energies coming in, the challenges, uh, perhaps in this week in love, and uh, what is really supporting us. And um, then we're going to look at what is opening up for us and some messages from the person in mind or the person who will be coming in towards you. So let's begin. Let's first start with an overall energy for this week. Thank you. You are about to be writing your story and you're needing to know this part, that you are the creator of your reality. So create the reality that you wish to experience. You're super creative, okay? So write your own story. But this message here is, um, I'm seeing here forgiveness as the major theme in this week. So leaving the past behind and moving forward is the message here. It's beautiful, that's a beautiful transformation. So what I'm sensing with this for this week is some of you, have had a strong connection with someone. It was definitely a very, very strong. You had a lot of emotion, perhaps even a lot of passion, and you felt like that person is the one. And there were things that transpired. I feel like you gave a lot. You did. Um, they probably ghosted you. They just kind of moved away completely, just out of the blue, no closure. There were a lot of things I feel that were unsaid and it caused a lot of pain. Okay. But what I'm seeing is what I've just mentioned is something I feel that's taken place behind this. So now you're in this stage of a new day, a new dawn. I want to create my own story. I'm writing my own story in life. Okay. I'm looking at these beautiful flowers. What am I creating in my love life? So what will assist you in this week is to truly let go of the past. There may be someone from the past that may comes in and this person may return back and seek forgiveness. Now it's going to be for each one of you, you know, as a tarot reader, it's not for us to say yes or no, because that's your own journey and your own experience. So it will be up to you if you want to welcome that person back in and see if they've changed or if you are done and now you, you want to experience something new, I want to create my own story and this is a new dawn, a new day, a new person, a new relationship I'm wishing to experience, then, not just then, just always, it will help to do a forgiveness from the heart and not just, okay, I forgive you. Truly mean it and release it and start looking towards the future creating your own story rather than focusing on what was, what was lost. So have that faith that you can magnetize the best love and you should because you deserve it. So I want to begin with that as the opening message. Let's look at, yes, see, these are all ready for this week. Ten of wands, a lot of burdens with that, with that energy. There was this connection that was extremely burdensome. Are you experiencing it? It is time to let that part go. There was a lot of burdens in this connection. Okay, I'm feeling that. So the current energy in this week, love energy. No reversals. I like that. I feel like the current energy is that you need to be finding your own self-worth. Like what I have, I know my worth and I know my value. I need to let that past go. 
whether you accept that person back either ways the past has to be there has to be a closure from your side doesn't have to be through words or through exchanges this is about your self-worth what do you value so this is this amazing time of you determining for yourself on how you feel about yourself so no more chasing energy no more wishing and wanting that you know that is the only relationship and why is it not working out why does this always happen to me i'm hearing these words okay you are creating your own story perhaps all those lessons had come in to just show you that that was not right and the universe is bringing forth someone someone who is going to be your right vibrational match as you honor yourself to me this is holding on to what you have so holding on to your beliefs about yourself and holding on to your own value that's the key okay that's a big message here so let's look at what is the challenge this week And I like this. This person's in their empress energy, male or female doesn't matter. Meaning, I am ready to regenerate and recreate. What's the challenge? Wisdom. Yes. Listening to this inner call. So I do feel in this week, the big part is going to be listening into your feminine energy within, male or female, doesn't matter. This is listening into your higher self because there may be these mindsets that we have of the past where the person may come in and you may just feel like yeah you know what we did have good times and perhaps they have changed if that's what you're wishing to experience is have that connection with them but here the challenge which can be changed into a very very strong positive a challenge does not mean it doesn't exist it simply means this is what you are learning to integrate is listening to your own inner call your own inner wisdom you know your worth you're writing your own story so this would be a perfect time in this week to take some time out for yourself and do some meditation and if you're not into meditation i would say at least some reclusive time some time alone by yourself you know go by the beach go by the water go take a hike go outdoors connect in nature connect to the mothering element and that is going to open up some some parts and I do feel there is some mystery that is going to be revealed there's some illusions uh, that you are breaking free from you are opening those gates to see more so that's what's taking place here so what's going to support the people in this week in their love life what's supporting the people building self-worth focusing on work Okay, and did I not say illusion? And look at the card that came out. First, let's begin with the first message that's supporting you. Is the eight of, this is the eight of coins, which is our eight of pentacles, is to look at what you are creating of value, right? You're here. This is the time to reflect, wonderful time to reflect about what's going on in that connection. Or if you are single and are looking to magnetize, what is it and who is it that I want to really magnetize to me? So do I want to have that same repetitive cycle of lack and unworthiness and, you know, people ghosting me and not honoring me. So there's not enough give and take, so imbalanced or it's time to create something new. So this week, what supports you is also focusing on your own work, whatever you're doing. Focus on your work, build on some part of your skills focus on that part doesn't mean you're distracting yourself to me this also feels like this week seems to be all about pentacles which is about material stability and about financial security okay it doesn't feel like it's a big week for emotions and cups let's see what's opening up well we do have another card of illusion here but this will really support you okay and this again speaks of is self-worth perhaps you know this is the time to if you're thinking this is the time you wanted to go back to school or you know enhance your skill sets in something learn something new i'm also feeling like a sense of um a good amount of learning that has come from it and this would be a great time for you to explore something new and build upon what you already have 
okay because you're really in that thinking mode this is thinking mode thinking mode what's supporting you let's see this one came second this is i'm going to speak about it last yes eight of cups there we go we're back into the cups mode it's uh what's going to support you is to finally let go of what didn't serve you and what i mean by that is if that connection was less than where you were not honored where you were disrespected where there was not an equal give and take where the boundaries were not not set so it wasn't a flowing relationship it was one doing and then there's there, there, there's all these walls and then there is he said you said he said she said she said she said he said he said okay take it how it resonates for you but i do see what will help you which also serves as a block here is um, you know, going back into the past emotions and then really reliving those part and saying, why did I do this? And beating yourself up. On. This is not the week to beat yourself up on anything. Okay. You have this ability to revive yourself. And I do, do not feel this is a revival with the other person. I'm sensing this is you speaking to yourself in this, you know, every time, uh, in this deck, every card speaks differently. Okay based on the reading that's coming up. So this is what I'm sensing in this one. I do feel this is the time for you to be honoring the feminine energy within you, okay? Honoring how you're filling those cups, honoring what brings understanding and whether that relationship is of that vibration that you have hoped and dreamed of. If not, then don't jump into something new. Don't jump into something new. Take that time to be solitary, okay? Do take that time to be solitary, to truly see before you jump into something new, okay? What is also going to support you, in, um, one of the things uh, is going to be definitely a moon cycle. So I do, uh, yeah, when am I doing this reading for? I don't know when you guys will see it, but I definitely want to say connect with the full moons. Full moons, a lot of emotions come up. It's a wonderful time to do full moon alchemy. Um, you can find things on the internet on that. Um, I do feel that's a message for some of you um, to bring in healing and emotions because again, we're getting this card of illusions. I told you about breaking free from illusions from here and this is what I'm seeing here. This is the moon card. So moon can pick up and bring up unhealed wounds and the past memories that were painful and hurtful but it also helps us to strengthen and know our own value this is the time this week would be very big to let go of the past to embrace something new okay i really do feel that um what is this writing their own story overall energy what is this writing their own story oh beautiful did i not say you're writing your own story about love so Okay, it's going to be a decision on love. We got this card in another week too. This is the lover's card. This is a coming together. So you are making that decision, a big decision with someone you definitely had a heartfelt connection with. Definitely feels like a strong soulmate, twin flame. Uh, you know, those are just names, but how you feel. It was a strong connection, okay? Where you felt was the one. Now, is that person the one? That's for you to see. It's time to rewrite your story and perhaps in this week some illusions regarding this part and this connection is going to come to surface yeah that's another message i'm getting perhaps they're gonna talk about i don't see communication but you may get an insight you may get an insight let's see what's going to open up whether communication is going to open up i'm not seeing communication cards here so it could be a higher self to higher self talking right so not in person to person, not a 3D type of a conversation. But I do feel you're going to get some guidance about what's taking place and how to kind of overcome this and release the past. Whether you embrace them or you let them go. Either way, forgiveness has to come in because you're recreating this love story of yours. Okay, That's beautiful. Now, um, we're going to look at what's opening up and... What are some of the messages this person that you had connected with has to say? Let's have a look at it now. Angels, what is opening up for the people in this week? I'll take a... Oh.
Wow. Wow. It's recording, right? All right. Wows. Woo. This is a big week. Messages for the people. Let's have a look at what's opening up. Somebody's coming to make an effort. Religious factors. Okay, let's have a look. One more in those. Oh, two? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's have a look at it. Wow. Let's start with this. The first thing that I'm seeing that's opening up, and do know that there's a lot of major arcanas here, and in Terra, when you get the major arcanas, it's, these are big themes. So it's not just that it happens in a snap of a moment. These energies kind of stay with you. And also know, when I said what's opening up for you is as you traverse this, it's not like this will land up for you. We all have to do the work. It is a must that I must say that in all readings. We must do the work universe may give you the opportunity but you may never open the door to receive it okay so this is this part where you may have a tendency to not look at anything else right now okay that's just one part but tap into your inner inner guidance because your inner guidance gonna tell you whether this is this connection that you want to come together with because i do see that that this connection is something that you desire to have a connection with you want to be bonded with this person is what i feel what i'm sensing here for many of you and for men and, and for some of you you're going to say archana we hate that we don't want it we want that end so let's first start with the ones those who want to have this connection come in so what's opening up for you is it coming together there is a strong desire to come together and someone is is wanting to make the effort and come forward okay and reach out to you Okay. I do feel the masculine energy is going to reach out to the feminine energy. It can be in the same gender sex. It does not matter. I, I'm simply talking about the holder of the energy. We're talking energies, not people. So the masculine energy is going to make that feels like for many of you, it's going to make an effort because they do want this connection. They feel that oneness. They feel that deep desire, the bonding that love which is what i'm seeing here right they do feel that uh, but it has to be something of the past things that have taken place in the past it needs to be always cleared out and i do sense this as a high vibrational connection that is unfolding that i am tapping into right now and here we got cleopatra and caesar so definitely a regeneration this is what i'm seeing here a regeneration a growth and also with this coming up with the religious factors, what I'm sensing is perhaps uh, the two of you are from different beliefs. Okay, religious beliefs, uh, spiritual beliefs, spiritual paths. It could even be different color. Okay, and I'm going to say color, race, ethnicity. I, I put it all together in, in that. So upbringing, it could even be different in social status. Maybe one of you is super rich and one is not. And that might have kind of prevented a lot of that coming together. So see how it makes sense. And it could, you know, it could just absolutely be cultural differences also. So but what I am seeing open up here is a, uh, this is a fertility. This is the Empress card. Okay, you here sitting in when you begin to see your self-worth with that person you the viewer is going to attract regeneration and a rebirth in your life whether it is with this person of the past or you are bringing forth a new person into your life who is a high vibrational a match for you okay a right match who honors you sees you as this empress okay to the emperor okay because look at look at all the cards that have come in. This is the uh, 1111. Okay, again, we're looking in terms of stability coming in. We're looking in terms of what's opening up for you is a strong, committed union. Will it happen now, Archana? This has been going on. I've been hearing it. Are you doing the work? I mean, don't shoot the messenger here. Don't, don't get upset at all the tarot readers. These are energies and potentials that are open to you. Now, if you don't walk through the door, then it's not going to materialize, okay? So I really do have to say that, my dears, okay, please, please open your hearts 
to receive the message that's coming in. Okay, It's coming in for you, for your growth. If this is what you desire, it's time for you to write your, your love story. Do you want this or not? Whether you want it with that person. Now, there comes that part. This person definitely is a past life connection. Okay, you could have known this person in the past, could be the ex, or this is definitely, if you believe in the past life, I really feel this is a strong, strong soul bond. Did I not say that right from here? And it shows here. This, that's why you feel that intensity. Okay, you've known each other. So once you are creating all of this, the angels are saying, you've got to decide and it's happening soon. It's happening soon. It's happening on a good time frame. It's happening soon. Okay, this reading went a little bit long, but I did promise that we're going to look at what messages. What is it that they they would have said to you? Okay. Financial challenges. I did see that here. Okay, um, so perhaps they were working on finances. They didn't feel worthy. They didn't feel like they had enough to come forward towards you. Okay, I'll just show you that message. Let them all pop out. Okay. So they were focused more on their work than on love. Okay. They did connect with you. They did feel that. Okay, now, this is wonderful. This is what I've been saying. Have you done the work? And it says abundance is here. You have done the work and abundance flows to you now. So this message will only resonate if you guys have been doing this inner work of self-love. And this is what it is. What's the third message here? Twin flame. All right. <sighs> okay, you have attracted your twin flame. If you're asking if that person's, it's a high vibrational soulmate connection. Okay. I do feel that. You know what I'm going to do? Um, we are going to leave this part of the reading now. I'll close this out and I'll go straight into a twin flame reading. And I'll post it in this week itself. Okay. And I'll, I'll link it up because I'm feeling a call that um, I should do a twin flame reading. But this is what I'm seeing. These are the messages that I have. And, then, and again, they're going to come forward for a second chance. Now, whether you want to give them or not is up to you. So there is a message. And this is um, something that I heard from someone I follow. Um, I can't remember their name. If I remembered the reading. I mean, I listen to other tarot readers too. I can never do these cards for myself. Or um, I think it's... Um, oh God, I wish I remembered the name because I would give them, you know... Um, kudos here but anyhow the message was that you have a choice yes it is a divine counterpart connection but you can choose not to be with the twin flame okay and it's not like a bad thing if you decide that you don't want to be the twin flame okay this is too much i've given twenty thousand chances i don't want to give another chance i'm done i'm creating my own story uh the bond is never severed you'll always be connected to your twin flame whether you choose a high level soulmate that you draw to yourself this bond is never ended you'll always have that deep connection with them but if your twin is not been doing the work and they're not there then it is very challenging because we are creating in the now my dears so uh, we are creating in the now okay and we are living in this moment in this now so let go of those past or the future and if they are not ready to come to the place where you are you the viewer male or female are in this energy where you've done the work abundance is opening up i feel like finances are also gonna open up so continue to do this forgiveness illusions are being lifted okay you are very strongly magnetizing what you want so you decide i'm gonna leave that final message you decide what you want okay that's it, it's not like oh my god if I say no to the twin flame that's the end of it and I I'll never know it's not the matter of saying no to the twin flame it's a matter of you honoring yourself at this part in the journey if that is meant to manifest in the physicality with your twin flame it will but will a new love not come in absolutely not you are in this energy where you are embodying the empress the fertility you're magnetizing i'm also sensing the magician energy here okay so because of this you are going to draw in very high vibrational soulmates okay uh so that is like the final part of this message that i have for you guys so i sent you much love much light and if you'd like a personal reading then uh, i'm absolutely here to help you 
Um, have a blissful week. You have beautiful stuff opening up for you. I send you love and light. Bye.